What are the best golden visas in 2022? Stay tuned to find out more. So if you're a high net wealth individual or an expat in particular, go over to adamfire.com and see how I can help you. Now on this uh, particular video, I'm going to talk about golden visas or at least residency via investment schemes. What are some of the best options right now in the market for people around the world who are looking to change their residency via these schemes? Now, of course, it does depend on several things like how much money you have and what you want to achieve. But I'm going to come off the fence a little bit here and talk about some of the ones that I like. So, for example, right now, uh, Portugal, as always, has uh, one of the best uh, residency schemes. You can invest 500,000 um, euros, half a million euros, and usually get uh, residency in Portugal. Actually, there are other ways of doing it as well. There are certain investments for 280,000 euros and below, which can actually qualify you, and that can give you a EU residency uh, permit. But you have to bear in mind with Portugal, it isn't a zero tax country. It's only zero tax on certain kinds of royalties or other kinds of income. So don't assume that just because the money is coming from a worldwide source, that that means you can get away with paying 0% tax legally. So just bear that in mind. So. If paying no tax um, or little tax is your objective, I would say somewhere like the Cayman Islands or the UAE or beyond is actually probably better for you because um, actually the Cayman Islands, for example, even though it's only a two-year scheme, they now have a two-year scheme called the Global Concierge Program. And even though technically it's not a, um, uh, you know, like a golden visa, provided you prove your income, you don't actually have to put any money down uh, to get that two-year option. And likewise, the UAE, you can often set up a company very cheaply uh, on the ground. So it really depends on what you want to achieve. If you want to achieve uh, low tax uh, status or no tax status, then the UAE or, or Monaco or the Cayman Islands is probably best. But when it comes to say some of the European uh, schemes, I think Portugal is very good. And when it goes beyond that, if you really want a cheap residency, somewhere like Cambodia is obviously very good from the point of view that uh, you can just get a business visa at the airport um, and then get a work permit above that. But there are some taxes also uh, in Cambodia, not to mention Thailand with their elite visa uh, scheme. But for me personally, I would say for a lot of people out there, the likes of the Portugal scheme, uh, also UAE and Cayman Islands are three great options for investors. But what I do think will happen in the future is the EU will increasingly close away some of their uh, golden visa schemes as they have done already for Russians, but more countries will open up as well to golden visas. So after the pandemic, many countries thought, well, there's going to be more remote workers now, so we'll open up our own scheme. So I think what you might see in the next year or two is that trend getting even more pronounced. Some countries opening up to um, residency or even citizenship via visa, uh, you know, via, via actually paying for the visa, essentially a golden visa, but then there could be other countries that become more close to it. How can I help you in two ways? First of all, are you an expat, a high net wealth individual, or just somebody who lives in a part of the world where it's difficult to get access to quality investment solutions? In which case, go onto my website on adamfire.com and find out more. If you don't fit into any of those categories, then in which case there's a range of free material on my website, on this YouTube channel, and indeed on my Quora, where I get over 200 or have received over 231 million views uh, in the last few years. And finally, if you want to uh, actually read my thoughts in more detail, go onto Amazon and find my book on there.